So hi everyone welcome back to placements ready in this video we will be solving the problem which has been asked in today's problem of the day geeks for geeks. So the problem is very straightforward you are given a string s you just need to reverse the string. So for example here s is equal to geeks and if you see the reverse of it s will appear first then k then e then e then g okay. Similarly for for the reverse is going to be rough okay. So the question is very simple let's discuss how we can solve this so there are many ways in order to solve this problem we will explore all the possible ways okay so here let's say our string is for so our output is going to be rof so what we will do we will be iterating from i equal to zero and till the mid of the string so i will be teaching you three methods one with a for loop one with a while loop and the last one with a inbuilt function so what we will do here we will iterate till the middle of the string so how can we find the middle of the string it is simple we can store that length of the string in a variable let's, let's say as dot length so that we don't have to calculate the length of the string each and every time now i can use a for loop for i equal to 0 i less than n by 2 and i plus plus okay now what we can do we can replace this character with this but how to find the last character okay so for any i if you can find its pair by using a simple formula which is n minus i minus 1 so here if you see so here n is 3 i is 0 and minus 1 so 2 so we can get the index 2 for this we can simply swap this to swap is an inbuilt function in c++ you can implement it on yourself as well so we can replace s of i with s of j okay so what will happen f will be replaced with r in the first step so this string will be this now in the next step i will be at this index okay but for this index s of i and s of j is going to be same so swap method will do nothing but will replace o with o only so in the end our string is going to be rof okay so i hope you have understood the for loop now let's discuss how we can do using while loop so for while loop what we can do let's say our string is roof let's take a even example for this case so i will be pointing at zero we can have a j loop okay in while loop also you can uh, implement the same formula okay you can iterate till i less than n by 2 but here i will teach you a two pointer technique how we can do this so let's say j is at last index so j is s dot length minus 1 now what we can do again we can swap s of i and s of j so r will be replaced with f so now our resultant string will be f double o r okay now i will be incremented and j will be decremented okay because we have to take the pair okay so now o will be replaced with o itself so in the end our string is going to be f double o r okay so this was the second method using while loop now the third method is using an inbuilt function which is nothing but reverse so what it accepts it accepts two parameters like the starting index and the end index okay or basically in C++ STL we say this as a iterator so the start iterator and the end so we can pass on s dot begin here so the iterator will be pointing to the beginning of the string till s dot end okay and this is not included so what s dot end in indicates is the character after the last character of the string okay so it will reverse all the characters before this so r o o f and let's say here can any be a garbage character so as that end will be pointing to this so every part of the string which is behind this will be replaced so r o o f will be f o r only okay and what time it takes it takes a order of n time n is length of string so every method here is taking order of n time only if you specifically talk about this this is nothing but order of n by 2 which is approximately order of n okay 
so i hope you have understood the solution let's implement in code so code will be simple simply we can use the inbuilt function reverse str dot begin str dot end and we can return our str that's it we can submit this and our solution got accepted so i hope you have understood the concept how we can use different methods in order to do a simple problem and if you have liked it please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos let's meet in another problem of the day video where we will be solving some another interesting problem okay thanks for watching guys